Actually, let me make you smaller. You are too. good. Misfit Nation, if you guys want to watch a little Hogwarts gameplay, playing it right now on my stream, Skrill Kill, S K R I L L K I I L. And it is, it's extremely it. transphobic, this game. Extremely. <laughs> It's the gayest transphobic game ever made. Ever. I can't <laughs> believe it. Any signs of transphobia? <laughs> Do you find yourself nah. wanting to scalp a gay? <laughs> Do you yeah, want to go gay bashing? Chopping off your, your winger. I'm going to test you. Because I'm worried that you're going to become really homophobic playing that game. I mean, it's it's possible. <laughs> I'm already halfway there, huh? Hey, look at you. You're already a better streamer than Hassan. Hey, look <laughs> at that. Definitely. Like, if, let's say if he had, let's say if he had a million followers on Twitch and a thousand of them saw them homophobic all the time and really felt like that but it was uh, only a thousand out of the million like that's how i feel because because nobody really cares bro at the end of the day it's just a goddamn video game and there's just there's gay shit all in here the first one of the first characters i met was a fucking transsexual so i don't see the problem oh really they put trannies in there yeah yeah see that's where the, the game pisses me off now too Because them. Well, I'm fighting. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you were well. You were telling me that it wasn't her decision, like on the game, right? It was she just kind of licensed no. it out. No, no, she, she, she licensed it. So now it's probably the corporations that are behind her that are like trying to save the franchise. So they're throwing in yeah, a definitely. bunch of yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if she was like if she wasn't against all of that. She has to be. I mean, it's it. I wouldn't see why she would be for it, especially since he, he's outspoken on her views. And yeah. and and to and to be honest, like I don't like the interactions with that character. It's not even meaningful. Like I don't even have to go back and speak to that gentleman. But it, it's just the fact that they put it in the game. It's like who who cares, bro? This it's it's supposed to be a game about magic. No. Like, if you're re- you're, what what happened? You're miss, I get where you're going with that, but you're missing something huge. And it's something Talk I always you. say to you. To these liberals, because they don't have God, they don't read the Bible, they don't have religion, their Bible is Harry Potter. Their Bible... Oh, yeah, you have said that before. Yes, yes. Their Bible is Harry <laughs> Potter. Their Bible is... Uh, what else? Uh, what's the... Star Wars... The Matrix. Star Wars. That's their Yo, Bible. Imagine, imagine you, imagine you worshiping a Jedi. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's what they, that's what they do. They, 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 they work like because they take all of their like the way we get sort of our guiding principles and ideology and sort of philosophies on life. A lot of that is rooted in sort of, you know, having the the idea of God existing. And right. to these people, that's why they like to believe in magic and anime and shit and superpowers, because that's their like sort of uh, comprehension of God. Believing in it, or is it, or is it fantasy? Like I, I'm not sure if I'm catching on with you because I'm I'm a fan of these things, but I also know that there's a one true living God, so I'm not really sure. Where I fall on the side of that argument. Because you have God, so you can make the distinction. Like, you can watch... Oh, you I can watch you. Sam Smith perform while, while sucking on a Satan firecock. <laughs> and, and you can make the distinction that, like, that's not, that's not the art that I like. You get what I mean? Right, right. And I'm not pigeonholed to, like, oh, my God, it's great, just because it's Sam Smith. Right. And then I think the difference in where we are as opposed to, like, other Christians is that we can actually still watch the Sam Smith thing and make fun of it. And we don't see that as a sin to do that. 
Like, because there's a, there, or at least I don't. I don't want to speak for you, but. No, I don't. I don't, but, you know. Yeah, you've never said, let's not watch that. That's sinful. It's like. <laughs> it's, so, come on, man. Yeah, so you could watch Harry Potter and play the game, but you're, you're like, I know this is fantasy. I know this is like. Like, it's wizardry. It's wizardry. A lot of wizardry going on in this game. Yeah. That's for sure. That's devil shit. <laughs> I mean, look, I can't argue it because I, I'm, I see it in the game. So. Yeah, but think if you didn't have the experience of like being in the church, reading the Bible, having religious discussions, knowing who Jesus is, you'd, you'd interpret all of that in a whole different way. Oh, okay, I think I okay, I think I'm finally starting to grasp what you're saying. Like I would I would look at this not for the evil that it is, but as it just being another thing. No, you wouldn't even see any of it as evil. Right. You wouldn't uh, like the fact that you could play the game and understand that okay, this is like black magic and shit, but it's you know, to you it's harmless because you understand sort of you have God in your life in some form or fashion. Like, you have something that tethers you to a grounded reality. If that makes sense. No, it makes sense. All right, I'm with you. Yeah, just imagine you not having any of that. And you just, you're a fucking lost child. You're going to probably believe in some shit. That's why a lot of those kids yeah. also get into uh, science. Because they want to prove, like, if you ever watch, like, uh, Michu Kaku or uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, they always talk about how they were inspired by, like, some, you know, science fiction back in the day. And they wanted to prove that it was real. Yeah, and that's how they got and, and, into and it. In looking, and in looking, they found the truth. Or their version right. of it. I don't think Neil deGrasse Tyson believes in God. I don't think so either i think uh mit i just was listening to mitchu kaku explaining god how what he believes in god like he believes in like two different kinds of gods or something like that like huh? i guess one one that is like what is outside of us extent existential i guess and then there's one that's in us kind of deal our conscious, our being, our soul, that kind of thing. So he believes our soul has a has a piece of God in it, or it is God. I, so there's a difference. I guess it's what's the concept of God, but I mean, I, we could save this for, a, I don't want to get into a religious discussion. <laughs> but, <laughs> we're talk about our, what is, yeah. what is God? Like we really about to, we really about to go down there. Scroll yeah, comes like, on. Right, so scroll comes on and asks a very. Let me. Uh, one more question. What is the meaning of life? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <go> ahead. <laughs> Riddle me that. 